The Building Resilience for Adaptation to Climate Change and Climate Variability in Agriculture in St. Lucia, the Breakfast Project, officially began operations in early 2023 with a primary objective of fortifying resilience in St. Lucia's agriculture sector for livelihood security through the enhancement of adaptive capacities for climate change and vulnerabilities. The designated vulnerability analysis consultant for the project, Dr. Sean Charles, is currently undertaking a week-long visit to St. Lucia to establish a collaborative framework and seamlessly integrate his professional expertise into the ongoing initiatives of the Breakfast Project. An inception workshop was conducted focusing on geographic information systems. Engaging stakeholders that exist within the agriculture sector, Dr. Sean Charles conducted diagnostic tests to evaluate their current capacity levels. He says the aim is to compile data from all stakeholders into a unified database, facilitating an analysis to prioritize sites. Farming now has differed over the last 20, 30 years in St. Lucia, as noticed. And um, we need to find creative ways uh, to help uh, reduce the consequence, negative consequences, both from extreme weather conditions, from pests and uh, disease control. We have quite a bit of animals here that destroy our crops, and we need to come up with some strategies to deal with them. All in the aim of building resilience, not just getting rid of, but being able to uh, promote sustainable agriculture for the next 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Targeting agricultural regions 1 and 2, 6 and 7 in the northern, west and southwest parts, the project addresses issues such as steep slopes, landslips, water shortages, poor drainage, salt intrusion, low production capacity, and weak competitiveness in domestic supply chains. Project manager of the Breakfast Project, Dr. Donatian Gustav, explains that this intervention will result in the creation of updated vulnerability maps, providing a crucial resource for the Breakfast Project to address capacity development in response to climate change. So the data initially collected last year, it's going to be incorporated into a GIS database. With that database, it's going to specify vulnerabilities in St. Lucia, specifically those relating to farmers and the operation of agro-processors. Ultimately, the aim is to understand the vulnerabilities that can be deployed to enhance adaptive capacities of the stakeholders. Not only farmers and agro-processors, but also the Ministry of Agriculture and other key governmental and non-governmental agencies. Following this assessment, the Breakfast Project plans to organize training exercises designed to elevate the capacities of stakeholders with a goal of ensuring sustained capacity building in St. Lucia. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.